Oh no, we got a blinking drive light. Well, welcome back. We have an 06 Ridgeline here that has the blinking drive light on. That means there's a problem with the transmission. Now you'll also notice that there's no check engine light on. So getting codes out of this with most scanners will be difficult. So this may uh, require a trip over to a friend's shop to have them give it a scan to figure out what code we have going on with this thing. Okay, I turned it off. Let me restart it, see if the light stays off. Yes. Flashing light is off, so the problem is intermittent. Let's go get this thing scanned and figure out uh, what code it's going to be putting out. I paid a visit to my local friendly Honda dealer where my friend happens to work. They scanned the car for me and we got a PO847, third pressure switch circuit low. And while we were there, we also picked up the part. There's the part number. Here's the switch. And we're going to swap this out and alleviate our problems. We got the car jacked up a little bit. The switch is located underneath all the splash shields over here. So we're gonna have to drop the splash shield down, pull out the clip here, and some more under here. We're not taking the whole thing off. We're just gonna drop down this section. And conveniently, some of these uh, clips are missing. So we're gonna drop that down and find out where the switch is. It's located up on the front under here. We got our splash shield loose, hanging down. We got a drain pan over here too. It's gonna to leak a little bit of oil out of this, but at the same time, since we're here, we're also gonna change the uh, transmission fluid. So let's show you where the uh, sensor actually is. Okay, it's right up underneath here. Let's see it right there with the uh, black plug on it going into the side of the transmission. You gotta unplug it and then we'll get a socket on there and take it out. Push on the tab right here, and then uh, pull the plug off. I have a 22 millimeter deep socket on there, half inch drive, and then we're gonna loosen it up, pull it out. Kind of tough to show you here, but there you go. Okay, we got the switch out, and as you can see, it's just dripping a little bit. It doesn't make a big mess, but enough that you want to catch something. We'll pull the drain plug out after we uh, put the new switch in. Let's take a look at the switch here. What I did not get was the metal gasket. So we are going to reuse this one. I've done this before, it's not a big problem. Here is our new switch. Plug is different. They probably updated it. As my friend told me, they have lots of problems with these, so it is a common failure point on this car. You really should get a gasket, but if you're going to reuse it, make sure you put it back on the same way it came off, because it has like a little indentation from where it went into the transmission case. I'm gonna put a little bit of RTV on it on both sides. Not a lot, just a little bit, and then put it in and torque it up to what it's supposed to be. Okay, we got the sensor screwed back in and we gotta tighten it up to uh, 14 foot-pounds or 20 Newton meters. Okay, we got it tightened up. We just gotta plug it back in. Listen for the click. There we go. A snap of satisfaction. Okay, with that done, now we're gonna do the uh, transmission fluid. And if this video helped you, please do me a favor, like, subscribe, send a comment. I appreciate all of you, thank you. And the drain plug is right there. It's a 3 8 drive, so you could just stick your ratchet or breaker bar right in there and uh, loosen that plug up. Okay, the drain plug's out, it's dripping. 
There is a magnet on the end of this. Make sure you wipe it off clean before you put it back in. It's also a judge of how much wear is going on in your transmission. So, yeah, it's a little dirty. I've changed this before quite a few times already, so it's not too bad. We're gonna let that drip, and we're gonna put all our clips back in the shield here. And then when we're done, we'll refill the tranny. Okay, all our plastics are back clipped where they need to be. We got the drain plug back in. Uh, you should replace the gasket on it, but you can get away with just putting a little bit of RTV on it and putting it back the same way. It needs to be torqued to uh, 36 foot-pounds. Let's see. There. Perfect. Time to refill the transmission. And as you could see, the dipstick tube opening is very small. It'll take you forever to pour the transmission fluid back in. What they do have is a plug, 17 millimeters, right on the top of the transmission. Let's get a drop in there. Got a half inch drive ratchet on there. Loosen that plug up and then we'll fill the tranny. Now, how much to put back in? The book says 3.3 quarts, but what I always do is get an old oil jug that has measuring graduations on it and measure what you took out. And as you can see here in the graduations, we're right around 3.3, it's perfect. Always use the Honda Fluid in these cars. They changed it to a different part number. They call it an ATF DW1 now compared to what would be in your owner's manual. This is the stuff. Don't use anything else. You'll have problems. We got our drain plug out. We got a big long funnel to put in the hole. We're going to put in 3.3 quarts. Ah, good to the last drop. All right, 3.3 .3 quarts are back in. We will put the plug back in and we will start this thing up. All right. We're going to take this thing for a drive, let the transmission fluid heat up, and then check it. And we are done. And if this video helped you out, please give me a thumbs up. And subscribe if you like, too. Thank you for watching. Very interesting. How about this one? Check the next one. This one. Nah, you don't like screwdrivers. Okay. All right. How about this one?